Malmoli Serpels, The Old Drift, is a sprawling epic that weaves together the stories of three families over the course of a century in Zambia. The novel tackles themes of colonialism, nationalism, race, and technology, all while blending elements of magical realism, science fiction, and historical fiction. One of the most striking aspects of the novel is its structure. Serpel employs a non-linear narrative that jumps around in time and perspective, but somehow manages to keep the reader grounded in the story. Each section is told from the point of view of a different character, often switching between first and third person, and some of these characters reappear later in the novel. This shifting narrative voice creates a sense of intimacy with the characters, as we are privy to their innermost thoughts and feelings, but also a sense of distance, as we are constantly reminded that each character's perspective is just one of many. The novel also makes use of various literary devices to convey its themes. For example, Serpel frequently employs allegory and metaphor to explore complex social issues. In one instance, the mosquitoes that carry malaria become a metaphor for the colonial powers that invade Zambia, sucking the life out of the land and its people. The mosquito motif appears throughout the novel, reminding the reader of the invisible yet pervasive influence of colonialism on the country and its inhabitants. Serpel also makes use of magical realism to blur the lines between reality and fantasy. The novel's opening chapter features a woman giving birth to a baby with hair so long it touches the ground, a seemingly impossible feat that sets the tone for the rest of the novel. Later, characters are able to communicate telepathically or possess supernatural abilities, adding an element of the fantastic to the story. These magical elements serve to heighten the sense of wonder and mystery surrounding the novel's themes and setting. Another important aspect of the novel is its exploration of technology and its impact on society. From the early days of the telegraph to the advent of smartphones, Serpel traces the evolution of technology and its effects on the characters' lives. She shows how technology can be both liberating and oppressive, depending on how it is used. For example, the construction of the Kariba Dam in the 1950s and 60s is depicted as a triumph of human engineering but it also displaces thousands of people and disrupts the local ecosystem. Similarly, the rise of social media allows characters to connect with others around the world, but it also exposes them to new forms of exploitation and surveillance. Perhaps the most powerful aspect of the novel is its portrayal of race and identity. Serpel explores the complexities of identity in a country that has been shaped by colonialism and tribalism. The characters in the novel are divided along lines of race, class, and ethnicity, and their identities are constantly shifting and evolving. Some characters embrace their African heritage and reject Western influence, while others strive to assimilate into white culture. Through their struggles and triumphs, Serpel shows how identity is shaped by both internal and external forces, and how it can be a source of both pride and shame. Overall, The Old Drift is a rich and complex novel that defies easy categorization. It is a story of love and loss, of triumph and tragedy, of the past and the present. Serpel's use of multiple narrative voices, literary devices, and themes creates a multi-layered work that rewards careful reading and reflection. Ultimately, 
The novel is a testament to the resilience of the human spirit and a call to action for a better, more just world.